Launch X431 Key Programmer with Diagzone or Diag. Real user results and must-know tips. Hey there, car wizards and diagnostic daredevils. Here's a question to kick things off. Can a Launch X431 Key Programmer really work with Diagzone or Diag software? If you know the answer already, drop in the comments below and let's see who's really keeping up with the tech. Today's episode is going to be one you don't want to miss because we're diving into a hot topic that has created buzz across automotive forums, garages, and tool groups alike. We're talking about the Launch X431 Key Programmer. Yes, that compact but mighty gadget, and whether it plays well with the two most popular diagnostic software platforms out there, Diagzone and Diag. But before we dig deep into real user results, performance insights, and software compatibility, let me ask you this. Have you hit that subscribe button yet? Because most of our viewers watch our videos without subscribing, and honestly, it's the biggest way you can help this channel thrive. Just one tap, hit subscribe, ring that notification bell, and if you enjoy the content, leave a like and drop a comment. Let's shoot for 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours. Can we do it? You're the real MVPs, and together, we can absolutely make it happen. Disclaimer. This video is created solely for educational and informational purposes. We aim to provide insights and clarity for automotive professionals, enthusiasts, and learners who want to deepen their understanding of vehicle diagnostics and programming. Any images or clips shown are used in accordance with fair use guidelines for review, commentary, and demonstration only. All trademarks and registered brand names mentioned belong to their respective owners. Always use original software and hardware responsibly and in compliance with your local regulations. Safety first, knowledge second to none. All right, let's get to the heart of the video. The Launch X431 Key Programmer is increasingly gaining popularity among DIYers and professional garages alike. But the real question is, how well does it integrate with third-party diagnostic software like Diagzone Pro and Diag Pro 3? We scoured community forums, took a deep dive into user testimonials, and even looked into personal success stories from techs who've been hands-on with these setups. And guess what? The results are both exciting and surprising. First up, Zdiag Pro 3 and the Launch X431 Key Programmer. One user tested this combo on a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, paired with the Green Golo Probe and the Launch X431 iMemo Key Programmer. And what happened next? He successfully programmed a key via OBD using the IMMO function on an Audi S4 from 2012. Yes, you heard that right. A successful key programming session using a third-party software and a premium phone setup. That's no small feat. It means if you've got the right hardware and follow the correct process, you can save yourself a lot of time and potentially thousands in professional locksmith fees. Next up, Diagzone Pro Compatibility. So how does Diagzone Pro fare with this key programmer? According to several users, it actually works very similarly to Zdiag. The menu structure is identical, and the key programming functions operate with almost the same responsiveness and flow. One user described the experience as plug-and-play with minimal setup friction. Now, here's where things get interesting. A customer report using LVS Scan Pro software. One of our viewers tested the launch key programmer with LVSKIN Pro on both a Redmi tablet and phone. And get this, it worked flawlessly. From IMMO to transponder detection and even cloning functions, the software handled everything smoothly. And look at the list of supported vehicles. PSA models, Peugeot 3008, 207, 308, 308 T9, Citroen C52, VW Group, Amarok, Tiguan, Golf 7, Audi A3, 2018, Renault Lineup, Laguna 2, Clio 3, Clio 4, Megane 3. That's a pretty solid lineup for what's technically not even the OEM software. And that means, if you're into key programming or want to expand your garage's diagnostic power without going fully OEM, this setup might just be your hidden weapon. Now, before we move forward, can you take a second and let us know in the comments which of these vehicle models you've worked on with a key programmer? Or have you had any success or failure with these same tools? Drop your experience below. 
We read every comment and learn from this amazing community every single day. But wait, there are also a few red flags. Let's be honest, not everything was sunshine and success. Some users did not succeed on Diagzone, citing software inconsistencies or hardware misreads. Others noted that after a software update on Diag, the IMMO icon mysteriously disappeared from the tablet desktop. How frustrating is that? Then there's the mixed feedback like, it works, but don't expect crazy things. Fair point. After all, third-party apps and devices always carry a level of risk. But isn't that why we're here? To experiment, learn, and share real-world results? So please, do not attempt these setups lightly, especially if you're unsure about device compatibility or procedure. It's always safest to use the original Launch X 431 tablet, which the manufacturer designed for maximum compatibility with its IMMO Plus functions. And speaking of reliability, users rave about one specific combination. Launch X431 IMMO++ Sprog 3 Plus Key Programmer. Apparently, this trio delivers the most stable and consistent results across various vehicle brands and models. In fact, multiple users outright said, it's the best, frankly, and honestly, I'm inclined to agree. The synergy between officially paired hardware and software will always outweigh DIY setups, especially when you're dealing with sensitive IMMO data and key programming procedures. Now, before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Have you used the Launch Key Programmer with Diagzone or is Diag? What vehicle did you test it on? Did it work? Or did you run into roadblocks? Drop your story in the comments, and let's make this community smarter together. And here's a thought. Would you trust a key programming setup that isn't 100% OEM approved? Let me know your honest opinion below. Now, before we head to the outro, let me give you my take on all this. I think the Launch X 431 key programmer has shown incredible versatility across multiple software ecosystems. Whether it's Diagzone, Diag, or even LVSKIN Pro, the tool has proven itself capable in real-world settings. But, and this is important, you must do your homework, follow proper procedures, and always use compatible hardware. Cutting corners with IMMO programming can lead to bricked ECUs or locked modules, and no one wants that headache. So my advice? Stick with the original tablet where possible and treat third-party setups as experimental tools, not guaranteed solutions. But that's just my view. What's yours? Let's discuss in the comments. I want to hear what worked, what failed, and what you'd never try again. And now, time to answer the question we asked at the beginning of the video. Can the Launch X 431 key programmer really work with Diagzone and Diag software? Answer, yes, but with mixed results. It works well for some users and fails for others depending on their hardware, software version, and vehicle. So the key is preparation and research. If this video gave you insights or saved you time, let's give it some love. Hit that like button, share it with your fellow technicians, and if you really want to support the channel, consider leaving a super thanks. And to my loyal subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You keep this engine running. For those still watching and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, now's your chance. It's completely free and helps us bring you more trusted, tested, and valuable automotive content. Plus you'll never miss the next big tool review or garage hack. This is your host signing off. Stay sharp, keep scanning, and happy diagnosing. See you in the next one.